everybody, welcome back to Masonic Curators, where we are preserving Masonic history through storytelling, specifically telling the stories of some of the items that we've collected over time. Today on the program, I have a couple of things. Uh, normally, I like to showcase one thing, but uh, in this episode, I have two. Now, these are two unique items. I'll kind of hold them here. They are watch fobs, and one is, uh, I've also seen them held as necklaces. Um, one is the spheroid shape here. This one is a Scottish Rite emblem. And on the other side, we have this. Now, I'm going to go ahead and go to a cutaway as I explain uh, a little bit more about these uh, as we unlock their secrets. So, uh, the first piece that I'm going to show you here is this. Uh, you can kind of see that it's a little bit worn. Uh, but what is this? So we've got the 32. This is definitely a Scottish Rite pendant. Um, it's been used as also a watch fob. Um, and on the other side, it's very similar. So on this side, we have the Yud at the top. We have a small diamond ship in the center. We have the double-headed eagle or uh, phoenix, as is sometimes reported. Um, and you'll notice the symbolism of the cross behind it. That is the uh, the symbol that you usually put before your name as, uh, as a master of the royal secret or the MRS or uh, if you're in northern jurisdiction, uh, prince of the royal secret. The, the first side I showed you, the 32nd degree at the top, and this is the pelican and the, the, uh, qu the quadrant underneath it which has the INRI, uh, NR, INRI rather. Now, what's interesting about this is you'll notice there's a hinge at the bottom, so this must open up. So let's check out and see what mysteries it holds. So we'll start on this 32nd degree side. We can pop this up and open here, and then we can open these four sides. And what is displayed on the inside is the cross again with the square and compasses both displayed on the bottom and on the top. Nothing on the back side of the actual hinged part. Uh, the 32nd degree displayed on this triangle. On this side, the Yud, square and compass. And, uh, yeah, it's very nice. Uh, it's red, if you can't tell. And then these, of course, fold right back up in any order. And we'll close. Now, this side is a little different. The hinge is on the top. And in this one, the eagle, or phoenix, just opens to reveal... the scales, and the sword, which again is an allusion to, uh, at least here in the northern jurisdiction, I guess would be the 15th and 16th degrees, the princes of Jerusalem, uh, kind of representing, uh, well, certain things, I guess, I don't want to say too much, uh, but again, pretty neat. So that's just this one, pretty cool though. This one is, no doubt you have seen them before. Uh, very interesting item. And on the bottom, you can see uh, if you can read that, made in England. There you go. Just kind of rolls out like a transformer and it falls apart and forms this cross. What's interesting is uh, all around it we have different symbols on each piece. So I won't say too much about them. Uh, I have my own theories about what each one symbolizes and means, but you might discern something a little different. We, of course we have the square and compasses
and this is very delicate delicately etched if you look at it under I have a pair of uh, magnifying glass glasses rather and uh, it has the appearance of Uh, a softer metal, and I, I don't know that it's all gold. I know the outside is gold, but uh, made in England, and I see these things sell from anywhere between 400 and on up. But this one was a gift. Both of these were actually gifts. And uh, that's it. It's a pretty neat item. Uh, again, made in England. And if you see these and you find them for under $100, I would buy it. They are a rare item. So there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed those. Those pieces were actually given to me by my dear friend, Brother Brian Shimian. Um, and it's really fun. I just want to give a shout out to him and his uh, fiance. Uh, they're getting married this year. Really excited. Um, and Brother Brian, this one's for you. Thanks so much. And everybody out there, thanks for watching, and remember to like and subscribe these videos. Share them with your friends. Remember, you can make your own Masonic Curators video. Just go on over to MasonicCurators.com, follow the submission guidelines, and let's get you on the program. Thanks again for watching.